Monster Hunter World's weapon progression paths are much simpler than previous games, but there are some standout paths you may or may not notice. This guide series is going to focus on weapon upgrades to take you through low rank and high rank as painlessly as possible for each weapon type. Obviously, since we're talking about flying through the early game, we don't want to sit and farm monsters for days. You will need to farm a bit following these paths, but hopefully not too much. The majority of the parts also come from easier monsters, which should make progress fairly painless. You need to hoard everything you come across. If you see a mining node, hit it. Bone pile, take everything. The last thing you want to do is have to go randomly find some bones or minerals for an upgrade. Everything you gather will be useful, and you'll save time by gathering as much as you can along the way. Any questionable materials, I will be providing where to get them as we talk about the upgrades themselves. Sword and Shield is an extremely versatile weapon. It touts high mobility and reasonable defense. You can guard and use items while your weapon is unsheathed. You also have the ability to knock out monsters with shield bash attacks. Sword and Shield attacks quickly and therefore benefits heavily from elemental damage. You'll want to exploit elemental weaknesses as much as possible. Ideally, this means building one of every type of elemental sword and shield, and I'll provide the options. In practice, you can get by with just Toby Kadachi's Thunder Elemental Sword, as it's decent against everything. The short answer of this guide is, build the Great Jagger's Sword and Shield to bridge you to the Pookie Pookie Sword and Shield, and then use that until you can build Toby Kadachi's path, which will be adequate to take you to Nergigante, and you can pick up his Sword and Shield then. Now, for the long answer. The Hunter's Knife one you start with is good for the first missions, but you'll want to build the Bone Path as soon as possible. Make a Bone Kukri 1, and upgrade it to a Bone Kukri 2 by using 3 Monster Bone S. You'll use this to take on the Great Jagras. After your victory, immediately upgrade your Bone Kukri 2 into a Jagras Edge 1 by using 1 Great Jagras Claw, 1 Great Jagras Hide, 3 Great Jagras Scale, and 1 Sharp Claw. You can get Sharp Claws from regular old Jagras. Continue progressing and you'll eventually fight a Pookie Pookie. There's an optional side grade you can make here. It's useful to pick up as it adds poison to your weapon at the cost of a slight damage decrease. You can skip it if you didn't get the required materials from your mandatory hunt with Pookie Pookie. Upgrade your original Hunter's Knife 1 into a Hunter's Knife 2 by using 2 Iron Ore. Then upgrade it to a Blooming Knife 1 by using 2 Pookie Pookie Quill, 3 Pookie Pookie Scale, and 1 Poison Sack. Once you unlock Wildspire Wastes, hunt Baroth. Baroth has an optional upgrade you can take that does bridge into one of the two Fire Elemental Sword and Shields. Build a new Bone Kukri 1 and upgrade it to a Bone Kukri 2 by using 3 Monster Bone S. Then upgrade it to Carapace Edge 1 by using 1 Baroth Claw, 3 Baroth Shell, and 2 Baroth Ridge. The Jagras, Pookie Pookie, and Baroth Sword and Shields are all extremely close shot for shot. The Pookie Pookie Sword and Shield is probably still preferred because of the poison application, and Brute Wyverns like Baroth and Anjaneth are usually very susceptible to poison. Take out Juratotus, hang on to his materials, we'll use them later on for the ice sword and shield you can optionally build. Continue with the mandatory story hunt of Toby Kadachi, save the materials, you won't be able to build the thunder elemental sword and shield until you've gotten to the coral highlands. Then hunt Anjanath and do your best to break its face by using your shield bashing attacks. Now you can upgrade your carapace edge 1 into a blazing edge 1 by using 2 Anjanath fang, 3 Anjanath scale, and 1 flame sack. Equip it because the added fire elemental damage will surpass the ability to poison monsters from now on. If you miss applying poison, you can always give a poison weapon to your palico. After defeating Zora Magdaros, don't worry, it's a set piece and you can't really lose, you'll gain access to the Coral Highlands. In the Coral Highlands, you're forced into an expedition to explore. Gather bone piles for sturdy bones. After you gather some, upgrade your Jagras Edge 1 into a Thunder Edge 1 by using 5 Sturdy Bone, 1 Toby Kadachi Electrode, 2 Toby Kadachi Claw, and 1 Electro Sack. You'll be wanting to switch weapons based on elemental weaknesses from now on. In general, Thunder is always a safe bet, but your next hunt is Paolumu, who is weak to fire, so hang on to the Blazing Edge 1. After Paolumu, you'll descend into the Rotten Vale and take out Rataban. Rataban isn't weak to anything you have, so you can use your preference. Then you'll have to take on Legiana. Legiana is weakest to Thunder, but also moderately weak to Fire. The damage on Blazing Edge 1 and Thunder Edge 1 will be comparable. After Legiana, you'll hopefully get 2 Monster Bone Plus. Use them to upgrade your Thunder Edge 1 into Thunder Edge 2 by using 2 Monster Bone Plus, 2 Toby Kadachi Electrode, 2 Toby Kadachi Membrane, and 2 Warped Bone. Warped Bones can be found in Bone Piles in the Rotten Vale. Use this for the remainder of low rank, as the rest of the monsters are immune to Fire and quite weak to Thunder. But if you're feeling up to it, you can also build Legiana's Ice Elemental Sword and Shield. Build another Hunter's Knife 1 and upgrade it to a Hunter's Knife 2 by using 3 Iron Ore. Upgrade this to Aqua Messer 1 by using 3 Earth Crystal, 1 Juratota Shell, 3 Juratota Scale, and 1 Aqua Sack. Then upgrade it to an Aqua Messer 2 by using 5 Dragonite Ore, 3 Juratota Fin, 2 Juratota Fang, and 3 Gajau Skin. From there, upgrade it down the Legiana Path to Glacial Grace 1 by using 3 Legiana Claw, 4 Legiana Scale, and 2 Frost Sack. 
Now continue with your mandatory story hunts of Odegaron, followed by Rathalos and Diablos. If you built Glacial Grace 1, use it on Odegaron and Diablos. Otherwise, Thunder Edge 2 will be more than adequate. Rathalos is weak to Thunder, so just use Thunder Edge 2. After beating Rathalos and receiving a Rathalos Marrow, you can upgrade your Blazing Edge 1 into a Blazing Edge 2 by using 1 Rathalos Marrow, 4 Anginath Fang, 4 Anginath Nosebone, and 1 Anginath Tail. After beating the Zora Magdro set piece and killing a deceptively strong Pookie Pookie, you'll gain access to high rank quests. Congratulations, the baby gloves are coming off. Our immediate goal on high rank is a weapon upgrade to compensate for the increased health of monsters with a long term goal of bringing our sharpness to the next level. You have a lot of options once you hit high rank with sword and shield. You'll want to upgrade your three elemental swords by farming the high rank versions of those monsters. Start with Toby Kadachi. Upgrade your Thunder Edge 2 into a Lightning Nemesis 1 by using 5 Quality Bone, 4 Toby Kadachi Scale Plus, 3 Toby Kadachi Pelt Plus, and 3 Vespoid Inner Wing. Quality Bones are rewards from early high rank monsters, and Vespoid Wings can be carved from Vespoids, which are the wasp enemies that will occasionally harass you. In no particular order, you can now hunt Anjaneth or Paolumu to upgrade your Fire and Ice Sword and Shields. Upgrade your Blazing Edge 2 into a Flamen Suture by using 4 Anjanath Fang Plus, 5 Anjanath Scale Plus, 3 Inferno Sack, and 1 Anjanath Plate. Next, hunt Paolumu for webbings. Use your new Flamen Suture because it's weak to fire. Upgrade your Glacial Grace 1 into a Glacial Grace 2 by using 4 Paolumu Wing, 4 Legiana Claw, 3 Legiana Tail Webbing, and 1 Legiana Plate. These are all low rank Legiana materials but high rank Paolumu materials. The plates can be annoying to get, which is part of why the Toby Kadachi path is considered the main weapon as it's simply easier to build. Once you're done that, you can optionally hunt Legiana in high rank to upgrade your Glacial Grace 2 into a Rhyme Spire. Use 3 Legiana Claw Plus, 5 Legiana Scale Plus, 3 Legiana Wing, and 2 Freezer Sack. Now that you're done farming, you'll have to hunt Pink Rathian as part of standard progression. It's going to be a toss up what's better. Pink Rathian is weakest to Thunder, but the Lightning Nemesis 1 doesn't have blue sharpness. The Flamen Suture would be good, but Pink Rathian is immune to fire, reducing its damage output. Whatever weapon you choose to use, hunt Pink Rathian and use the Monster Hardbones you get to upgrade your Lightning Nemesis 1 into a Lightning Nemesis 2 by using 3 Monster Hardbone, 2 Toby Kadachi Electrode Plus, 4 Toby Kadachi Membrane, and 3 Thunder Sack. Your next hunt is going to be against Nergigante. Any of these weapons will be viable, but Nergigante is weakest to Thunder Elements, so the Lightning Nemesis 2 is the preference. If after your hunt, you've got enough Elder Dragon Bones, you can upgrade your Lightning Nemesis 2 into a Lightning Nemesis 3 by using 4 Elder Dragon Bone, 4 Toby Kadachi Electrode Plus, 6 Toby Kadachi Claw Plus, and 1 Wyvern Gem. The Wyvern Gem can be found as carves or rewards from monsters like Baroth, Juratotus, or Rataban. Of course, Nergigante's Sword and Shield is extremely powerful, so you should focus your efforts into that. Go through the ore tree by making a Hunter's Knife 1, into a Hunter's Knife 2, into a Hunter's Knife 3, into a Steel Knife 1, into a Steel Knife 2, into a Steel Knife 3, and into a Chrome Slicer 1. Then upgrade your Chrome Slicer 1 into a Nurgle Jack by using 3 Nergigante Talon, 4 Nergigante Regrowth Plate, 2 Nergigante Tail, and 2 Nergigante Carapace. Congratulations, you now have a weapon that's completely capable of getting you through the rest of the game and one of the best Sword and Shields. This will be adequate for taking out the remaining Elder Dragons. You can also finish upgrading your Rhyme Spire into a Legia Rhyme Spire after beating Kushala Daura by using 2 Daura Claw Plus, 5 Legiana Claw Plus, 3 Legiana Hide Plus, and 1 Legiana Gem. After taking out Xenojiva, you can upgrade the Nurgle Jack one more time into Eradication Vanguard by using 2 Xenojiva Horns, 4 Nurgigante Horn Plus, 5 Nurgigante Talon, and 1 Nurgigante Gem. The gems associated with all of these will make them difficult. If you go for 1 Sword and Shield, go for Eradication Vanguard because of its high raw damage, good blue sharpness and reasonable dragon element. It will serve as a great general purpose weapon. Thanks for watching. If you thought this video was helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. Guides for the rest of the weapons are on the way.